the electric water gun that will make your friends fish the broad umbrella. I found this electric water sprayer kit from Bamboo Lab store. Is it good? Is it leaking water? Were my first thoughts. So to get the answer, I bought the kit. I will show what you need to make it, how much it cost, and is it worth to buy. You also need silicon tube. If you don't have it, you can buy it also here. And you also need 13 M3 by 16 mm counter sunk screws. You can get this from Bamboo Lab also. I forgot to buy them at first, so I bought screws from the other seller. Parts were ordered. Next thing was to start printing other parts. STL files and instructions you will find from Maker World. If you have Bamboo Lab 3D printer and you use Bamboo Studio, you can just hit open the Bamboo Studio. It will open up the slicer with pre-made profile. To print the parts, I choose PTG filament. PTG will be more durable than PLA and also will resist more heat. ABS and ESA are even better, but harder to print. Orange PTG is from Phila Lab and white one is from GTEC. Setting up the filaments. You need to check the and change settings if needed. So first, I change filaments in slicer. I did input settings to X1 before, so I only need to resync. Then I changed the colors, and last thing I did was change the printer to X1. You don't need to change printing settings. There are also supports added. Now is the time to start 3D printing. If you don't have 3D printer, but you need something to 3D print, just type in pcbweight.com and start ordering your stuff. There are many different types of 3D printing you can choose from. Different materials, PCBWay also makes custom PCBs. They provide CNC milling series, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. Parts are printed and almost clean from supports. To do the final cleaning, I got handy tool that can do multiple tasks. It's a Metmo multi-drive. The Metmo multi-drive is a beautifully engineered multi-tool that blends precision, durability and versatility. Inspired by the traditional marking tools, it functions as a knife, pencil, scribe, drill, file and micro-drive, all in one sleek, all metal body. Changing attachments is very easy and takes a little time. Attachments are held in place firmly. There are also 6 graphite leads included, which makes this tool a pencil in seconds. It also has Arden steel scribe, which gives you the opportunity to use it for metal marking. You can also use micro bits, two bits are included with the tool. Multidrive is perfect for handling everything from computer builds, model making and finishing up 3D prints through the marking out, sketching and etching. Metmo have more high quality tools available on their shop. Also check out their new coolest fractal flies on Kickstarter. Parts were printed and it was time to assemble it. Here are bamboo lab kit, silicon tube and pack of screws. Inside the pack are water gun gear box module, with switches and pump, charger and battery. Battery is 7.4 volts and 2200 mAh. You only need 15 mm tube. To cut it into the right length, you can use the tool which was included with the printable files.
For this water gun, you don't need external pump and the switch, so you can remove them. Connecting the battery is a little bit difficult, because the cable inside the gun is quite short. Charger can be put inside handle, it's actually a good feature. You don't need to charge for the charger every time you run out of power. This water spare gun came out nice. I didn't have any problems fitting parts together and it's very easy to assemble. Magazine release works flawlessly. Before you use it, check if the silicon tube is fitted correctly into the hole. If not, it can cause misfunction or leak. So what about the build time and cost? Let's start with the cost. The kit cost 18 euros and 45 cents. Silicon tube was 4 euros and 13 cents and two packs of screws 2 euros and 2 cents shipping to my country was 10 euros printing took 336.91 grams of BTG filament which was about 4 euros to me and electricity to run the X1 was about 50 cents total was 39 euros and 10 cents it took 12 hours and 51 minutes to print it, about 5 minutes to clean and 10 minutes to assemble, so it took a little bit more than 13 hours to make it. This magazine can hold about 120 milliliters of water. The filling is done through the hole on the top of the mag, which is covered with the lead. It's better than I expected, it can shoot up to 10 meters, shooting speed is good and there are also no leaks. Is it powerful? Yes. Is it fun? Absolutely. Will I probably get in trouble for using this indoors? Also yes. There are also available bigger magazines, which can hold up up to 420 milliliters of water. That's quite nice amount of water for water fights. It will take extra 115 grams of filament and 3 hours and 40 minutes to print it. And that's how it came out. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I will try to answer. Thanks for watching.